Hey guys, Tori Cuevas coming to you live from Breckenridge, Colorado. And we just wanted to give a quick shout out for the awesome pay period that you guys had. And then share with you a little bit of training that um, is on my heart tonight. Can you, can you see my, I don't know if you can see my breath. I'm sitting outside and wanted to show you guys some snow. There's our little snow mountain. So anyways, um, first and foremost, I want to welcome 141 new distributors and 11 new advisors to our champion family. So you have said yes to a relationship with AdvoCare, whether that is just um, getting on product at a discount or whether you have seen this as an opportunity to bring in additional income for your family. We just want to say welcome and we are so blessed to um, be part of your journey. Know that this is a excellent decision that you have made and we want to celebrate the top recruiters Hannah Halleck, Cindy Romero and Christopher and Feedy Gigan with three recruits each and what that why is that it's so important well that is how we fuel our business with recruiting um, it's bringing people into our organization of all relationships so we value every single person and this is just a way that you continue fueling your business by helping share the message of AdvoCare so we encourage you to at least have one new recruit per pay period if you want to um, have more momentum in your business well then recruit more um, new team members so we want to celebrate our top PGV, starting with Steve and Cynthia Middleton, 3,027. Um, awesome job, James and Lance King Baker, 3,309. Annette Price with 4,269. Cash and Cynthia Haranahan with 5,097. I'm sorry if I am not saying that correctly. And Travis and Courtney James. 6,247. Incredible job. Remember, if you are building a business, a thousand PGV is the minimum so that you can get paid. Um, maximum override and then eligible for any leadership bonuses. So that is to have a minimum sustainable business. And if you want to create more momentum than just like these champions, your PG would be higher. And then we are congratulating three new pins in qualification, Bob and Judy Vosberg, silver qualification, Gabrielle Singletary, silver qualification and cash and Cynthia, let's see, Hanaran, Hanrahan. I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, again, in silver qualification. So what does that look like? On average, a silver leader is bringing in an additional $1,000 a month, which is huge. So we congratulate you, and we know that you and your team are going to work diligently to lock that in this pay period. And then let's see if I don't forget tonight to plug into Todd Cash's um, three-star gold training. You do not want to miss that. That is happening at 9 p.m. Central Time. And other than that, I want to share with you what's on my heart. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see any of the um, snowflakes that are falling. I don't know. So um, just quickly, I want to share something with you that I was just absolutely overwhelmed with. First of all, we are in Breckenridge, Colorado. Everything just kind of happened um, spontaneously, um, the way that this trip fell in, fell in place. But today we were actually supposed to go home and we couldn't. Our flight um, was canceled due to um, the weather. We have some pretty... Um, crazy weather up here and so we ended up staying an extra day and then we are flying out tomorrow but as a matter of fact we're going straight from here to Las Vegas because we have training that we're doing and we are so blessed to be able to take our children with us and and that was unexpected too but you know what when you're able to have um, freedom of choices then you just change the plan. You just call an audible and say, well, this is what we're going to do. And when the the time factor is not an issue and financially we are able to uh, make those adjustments, it has just been an incredible trip. And, and 
it, today is day eight of this trip that we have been on and we still have um, four more days to go. And this has been the longest vacation that we have ever had with Tanner and Tatum. And we took them to Cal to California. We were able to do some business out there. And then um, they saw Legoland. They saw Los Angeles. And then we experienced Colorado, Breckenridge for the very first time. And then, of course, for the first time, we're taking them to Las Vegas. Do seeing Vegas in a whole new way um, from five-year-old perspective. So we're going to have a lot of fun. I can tell you that. Um, but I want to talk to you about, first and foremost, this has been a dream come true. Um, you know, I remember Jason and I used to always talk about one day we'll go skiing, one day we'll um, be in a lodge up in the mountains and um, just have one of the, you know, just a, a dream vacation of which um, was always a one day, you know, and we didn't know when that day would come. And, and that one day has been today. And I have just been completely overwhelmed every single time. I, I'm just looking around at um, God's canvas and the the snow-capped um, landscape and how absolutely stunningly beautiful it is here. Um, experiencing it for the very first time at 39 years old has been, um, I'm just so grateful and overwhelmed. But I'm also even more grateful that I have been able to experience this with our children. And, you know, Tanner and Tatum are five years old. I didn't even know that we were going to experience this. I didn't know that we were going to go skiing today, but we did. And I want to talk to you about what I saw as I was so excited um, to, to see this take place. Well, first of all, Tanner was super scared and um, he didn't even want to go skiing today. Um, and you know what? The child care was actually closed, so we couldn't even put, well, that's what we were going to do, was just take them to child care, and, and Jason and I were going to hit the slopes, but it just so happened that the child care um, couldn't take them, and so we just made an executive decision and said, you know what, all of us are going to go skiing, and Tanner overcame his fear tonight, um, or today, and, um, and then Tatum Oh my goodness, I was blown away at how brave she was. And as I'm watching this unfold, I'm like, this is so much. I feel like I'm watching our team. And what I mean by that is, so Tatum, I just told her what to do. And she, we helped her click on her skis. And then all of a sudden, boom, there she was. She, she didn't need anybody to hold her hand. She didn't, she was fearless. I'm talking my five-year-old daughter was absolutely fearless going down the slopes. And um, all, she just took off. And I was like, that's exactly what my face looked like. And she, she, I think, fell once. She just got back up and she did it again. And she never um, complained, never did anything. And, and I was like, wow, look at how brave she is and look at how well she followed instructions and all of a sudden, there she goes. And then I have Tanner that I'm watching with Jason. And of course, Jason had to be the, um, the teacher and the support and he was there to guide him and, and he was a little bit hesitant, Tanner was, and so he was cautious. But you know what, he did it and he conquered his fear and he overcame he overcame that slope. And so at the end of the, you know, he did it a couple times and, and I just continued to encourage him and tell him how proud I was. And he said, but mom, I didn't ski as fast as Tatum. And I said, that's okay. That's okay. Because I am so proud of you. You were, you said that you were scared to do, to do this and you did it. And that's what I'm most proud about. And you know what he said? He said, can I try again? And the fact is, he did. He did try again, and um, he conquered the slope. Now he needs. To, he continues to need some more training, and he wanted Jason to be with him, but he did it. And as I was just watching this today, I was like, you know, that is so powerful. Some of you guys are just going to take this business opportunity and run with it. You're going to you're going to be told how to do this thing and what to do and and you're going to have guidance, but you are going to take complete ownership and you're going to run with it and you are going to be skiing down those slopes fearless. And then some of you are a little bit timid with this opportunity and you're like, you know, 
I do want to do this, but I need some help. And 